be here to be a part of the New England Patriots organization. My basic philosophy in terms of winning football games is to have a strong, tough, physical team and to try to be as well prepared as we possibly can. Uh, Robert and I, after a you know, series of discussions, have uh, mutually uh, agreed to um, part ways. The Bill Belichick sweepstakes is in full demand right now, and after the recent embarrassing performances from several teams in the wild card, lots of new teams have entered the sweepstakes, so today I decided to compile a list of five teams who should all have interest in Bill Belichick. The way we're going to do this list is we're going to start off with our number five team, which is the team that I think should have the least amount of interest in Bill Belichick, and we'll finish off with the number one team who I think should have the most interest in Bill Belichick. Hey guys, Editor Metro here. I actually did make a bit of a mistake in this video. The audio that you guys are hearing was recorded the day after after the Philadelphia Eagles game. And with some of the recent news regarding Mike McCarthy and his job status with the Dallas Cowboys, there is a big chunk of this video that does not hold water anymore. So on screen, you can see the time in which I do talk about the Dallas Cowboys and Mike McCarthy and his job status. If you guys are Cowboys fans or just interested to hear what I have to say about the Dallas Cowboys, you can watch that a lot of time because there are some good features in that part. But if you guys do want to just skip that irrelevant stuff, the time is on screen right now for you guys to be able to skip that and go to my number one team. Again, I'm sorry about that, but let's get back to the video. So with that all out of the way, let's talk about the number five team, and that is, of course, the Atlanta Falcons, who recently just actually interviewed Bill Belichick. And while the Atlanta Falcons are clearly interested in Bill Belichick, I don't think he should be the hire for this team. Now, if they were to hire him, I don't think it would be a bad hire per se, but I just feel like this Atlanta Falcons team really needs an offensive minded coach. We gotta remember, Bill Belichick is more of a defensive minded head coach. He's somebody who's always gonna be more defensive oriented, which I don't think this Atlanta Falcons team necessarily needs. This was a Falcons team that had one of the worst offenses of the entire NFL this year, despite having talented players all across the board. So again, I think Bill Belichick would be a good hire for this team. I don't think he should be the hire, however, because sure, Bill Belichick would bring in a new mindset of winning championships to a team that desperately needs that sort of mindset, but I don't really know if he brings in the offensive firepower that a team like this necessarily needs. I think a coach like a Ben Johnson or a Bobby Slowick or a Jim Harbaugh would be a better hire for Atlanta in this situation. But for Bill, I do think this job should be very enticing. This is a team that is quite Quite literally just a quarterback away from being a very good team. Not to mention he'd be moving to the NFC, which is of course away from the AFC where he spent his entire career. Now is Atlanta a destination that he would want to necessarily move to? I don't know. I mean, this is a guy who is from Boston and has been around Boston for many years. So would Atlanta be enticing to him? You have to ask him that. I don't have the answer to that. But what I will say about Atlanta is it's definitely not the most attractive geographical destination on this list that I have today. So all in all, yes, there should be some mutual interest between the two because they both complement each other pretty nice. I just don't know if it's a complete marriage. Whereas my number four team, it's just a little bit closer to being that more complete marriage we all would like to see. And that is the Seattle Seahawks. Now, as of today, I don't know if there's any general interest between these two. And I do think it'd be a bit of an interesting hire going from Pete Carroll to Bill Belichick. But yet again, going back to what I said with Atlanta, the Seattle Seahawks are a pretty complete team when you look at their whole roster. Do I love Geno Smith as the quarterback? No, but if I'm Bill Belichick, Geno Smith is a clear upgrade from a guy like Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi. So for Bill Belichick, you're going to a team that already has a quarterback and sure, you can definitely upgrade the quarterback, but at least they have one. Not to mention the defensive pieces are already there, it just needs a new system. Like, is this defense full of talent everywhere? Not really. I mean, there's some good talent like Devon Witherspoon and Reek Woolen and so on and so forth. But getting a guy like Bill Belichick to really reinvent what this defense is could definitely do some wonders for this team. And when it comes to this offense, as long as you hire a good offensive coordinator, DK Metcalf, Tyra Lockett, Jackson Smith and Jigba, and some good running backs will work itself out. Not to mention, going back to the geographical sense, Seattle is a beautiful area. And while I don't know if Bill Belichick is much of a West Coast guy. If he is, I think Seattle should definitely be a point of interest for him. Now, would the Seattle Seahawks be interested in Bill Belichick? I don't have the answer to that. I honestly don't think they would be. Because why go from having the oldest head coach in the NFL to having another one of the oldest head coaches in the NFL in Bill Belichick? If I was Seattle, I think I'd rather have a guy like Mike Vrabel over a guy like a Bill Belichick. And based off what I've been hearing from Seattle, it seems like they're very interested in Dan Quinn, which I don't know if that's changed because of the recent Dallas performance. But if it has, I do think Bill Belichick would be a very interesting hire for a team that really needs a new identity change. So I do think this is a good marriage between these two partners. I just don't know if there's interest between these two guys quite yet. But if I was in Seattle, I would definitely be saying, hey, you know, we should look at this Bill Belichick guy. He won a couple Super Bowls for a reason. But that team has interest, but I don't think it should be as much as this next team, which is the LA Chargers. I've really gone back and forth over the course of the last one to two months, ever since Brandon Staley got fired, basically, on whether or not they should seriously 
seriously target Bill Belichick. In fact, if you check out my most recent LA Chargers video in which I talked about potential replacement for Brandon Staley, I didn't mention Bill Belichick's name and that's just because I don't really know if it's quite a good fit. But after talking to a lot of Chargers fans and just really, really thinking deeply about it, I actually think Bill Belichick could be a good fit here. Again, the roster is already kind of there for the LA Chargers. They have the stars at a lot of key positions and sure, they're going to have cap space problems and Bill Belichick will definitely have to figure that out. But if they can figure that out, I think there's a lot to like about this Chargers job. The biggest thing to like about this LA Chargers job would of course be Justin Herbert. The last time we saw Bill Belichick with a franchise quarterback, you know, he won a couple Super Bowls. So what do you think he could do with Justin Herbert? Herbert and this offense has been pretty damn good despite having some pretty bad offensive coordinators. So offensively speaking, as long as you do have Justin Herbert and a couple decent weapons, I think the offense should be good enough to contend for a playoff spot. It really just comes down to this defense and whether or not they can get that situated. If Belichick can come in here and fix that defense, I do think this team is legit playoff contenders. Now with Bill Belichick, they would have to do a lot of work to become that Super Bowl contender they want to be. But I do think Bill Belichick is in good shape with a team like LA. They have their quarterback. They have some really good offensive and defensive pieces. So if you're to add a guy like a Bill Belichick who brings in that Super Bowl mindset, I do think it could be a very good fit and a very good marriage. Not to mention the one biggest advantage this team does have, it's in LA. Is Bill Belichick a Los Angeles guy? I don't really think he is, but I also don't know him. So maybe he is. But anytime you're talking about California, which is a beautiful state, I guarantee you that a guy like Bill Belichick would be very interested. The one issue that they could run in here with Bill Belichick would be the simple fact that the Chargers are just not a very popular team. And sure, Bill Belichick would bring in some new followers and some new people would like the team, but if I'm Bill Belichick, I'm going from maybe the most popular team in the NFL to one of the least popular teams in the NFL. But again, I think the marriage is there and I think if both sides are interested, I definitely do think there could be a possible relationship between these two guys. But now I get into the more juicy range and we're going to start off with the number two, the Dallas Cowboys. Let's face it, Mike McCarthy is simply not the guy for the Dallas Cowboys. Sure, Mike can go in there and win 12 games, maybe 13 games in a good year, but he's not going to win you a playoff game. Do you want to know a guy who can win 12 plus regular season games and actually win Super Bowls? Bill Belichick. And this defense is one of the biggest reasons why the Cowboys lost against Green Bay. And it just so happens that Bill Belichick could bring in that new defensive mindset to fix what they have going on. My one issue with this marriage is a simple fact that I don't know if Bill Belichick and Jerry Jones would see eye to eye, but that's just because Jerry Jones is such a hands-on general manager. But I think if Bill is willing to just coach the team and let Jerry Jones fix the roster, I think this could be a very good marriage. Dak and the Cowboys already have a good roster. I mean, look at how many stars are on this team. It is full of talent. The only issue for Dallas is that they can win so many regular season games, but they just can't put it together when it matters the most. So if you're Bill Belichick, I think you fit in quite nicely with this team. If you're Bill, I don't really think you have to completely gut the roster and gut up the coaching staff. Like sure, you're going to obviously bring in your own coaches, but I don't think you have to completely reinvent everything that's going on in Dallas. And again, I go back to it. This Dallas team is full of talent and they already have their franchise quarterback in Dak Prescott. And I know Dak Prescott is a very controversial figure, especially after last night's loss to the Green Bay Packers. But if you are Belichick, Belichick, you're looking at all these quarterback options you have on the list and you're looking at Desmond Ritter, Geno Smith, Justin Herbert, and well, of course, the team I'm going to talk about soon. I think there's a good argument to say that Dak is the best quarterback of those names. Now, I'm not going to say Dak's better than Justin Herbert, but what I will say is that even though Dak sucks in the playoffs, so does Justin Herbert, but that's besides the point. Not to mention, it's in Dallas, which I think is a very good fit for a guy like Bill Belichick. And Dallas has the fan base that a team like the Patriots also has. I think the only way this relationship couldn't work out would be with Jerry Jones because he is such a hands on and just he likes to take ownership for a lot of what happens on the field and I just don't know if Bill Belichick would want to have that going on on his team but if Jerry is willing to work with Bill Belichick I do think it could be a very good fit and that team could be fucking scary part of my language but they're not my number one team and there's for a good reason because that team is the Philadelphia Eagles and I think this is basically a perfect marriage listen what Nick Sirianni did for several years was great and all but he was never able to win at all if Bill Belichick was on that Super Bowl team I think they would have won Bill brings in quite literally everything this team needs. A hands-on, defensive-minded head coach who can go in there and actually fix the issues when bad things start to happen. And personnel-wise, it's a damn good roster. Sure, the defense is a couple pieces short from being a very good one, but if they can get those pieces this offseason and Bill Belichick comes in, man, that team is scary. Because if they can get an offensive coordinator who can actually use Jalen Hurts and what he's good at to their full advantage, man, Bill Belichick would do some wonders for that defense. Again, we're talking about a team that was this close to winning a championship. And I think if you're Bill Belichick, this is a job that you should be extremely interested in. For starters, 
that's in Philadelphia, which is not that far away from where Boston is, and you're talking about a fan base that is quite similar to what the Patriots have down there in New England, so it would be a pretty easy adjustment period for him to make. Not to mention, you have the quarterback, you have the receivers, you have a lot of pieces on the defense that he can use, and I think a guy like Bill Belichick could do wonders for Philadelphia. The only concern I would have for Bill Belichick for this team is who he would hire at the offensive coordinator position, because if he brought in a guy like a Josh McDaniels to be the OC, I think that could cause some problems. But if they find the right offensive coordinator, I would have no problems with Bill Belichick being the head coach for this team. But NFL fans, you guys tell me, where do you guys think Bill Belichick will end up? And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button. But I love you guys. Peace.